Hello everyone, a big welcome from Gardena's Award 2021. I want to welcome you all on the screens out there and I want to present today's topic of the award, which is what role does the garden play in the new tomorrow? But before we start this event, I want to thank all our partners that are supporting us this year in this great event. Our partners are Spoga Gaffa, BHB, DIY, Schöner Wohnen Magazine, EVG, and our special guest, Frank Thelen. But now we will start first with a quick opener from our partners, which have some great statements to say on our this year's theme. Hello everyone. Thank you for your time and thank you for being part of the this year's Gardena Garden Award. The importance of the garden lies in every human being's search for, let me call it, a cozy kind of security, today and tomorrow more than ever. If you ask me about the garden as the place to live, meet and work in the new tomorrow, we from Spurger Gaffa, the world's largest trade fair for garden lifestyle, recognize the following is very important now and in the future. The garden will become more of an open-air living room, a cozy place of retreat. Casual dining with enhanced outdoor kitchens and barbecue will play a vital role and of course we see the continuous growth of smart gardening with lots of innovative features that simplify gardening. And last but not least we see the continuing megatrend sustainable gardens which will be also the focus topic of the next Burger Gaffa in June 22 here in Cologne. So from our point of view the garden will play an increasingly important role in the new tomorrow and there is plenty of room for innovative ideas and that's why I'm looking forward to the Gardena Garden Award. If there's one good outcome out of the current Covid crisis it is that business travelers like me spend more time at home. Our homes, including our gardens, are more important places for our life and work than ever before. We invest more in our homes and gardens and strive for even more relaxing and enjoyable surroundings. This provides new commercial opportunities for respective startups and specialized companies such as Gardena. Exciting times are ahead of us. The new tomorrow will be influenced by two different paradigms, post-pandemic way of life and climate change. In the pandemic, people all over the world have rediscovered the value of their homes, including gardens and balconies. And climate change? Future consumer decisions will take much more into account environmental topics. These consumers will probably love to live in a house with a garden, just as consumers today do, but they will insist on responsible solutions for irrigation, for example. Retailers and manufacturers, which will offer affordable products to meet this demand, will be the winners. What is the role of the garden in a post-pandemic future with some new and many old trends? Why will sustainability become even more important and why will gardening also become even more important? Some answers. First of all, water quantity and water quality. Through technology and knowledge we need to use less water and also use the water more efficient and sustainable. Second, health. Growing our own herbs and fruits increases the demand for information and solutions from retailers and also from producers. Third, insect-friendly gardens are the counter design to the gardens of horror with sealed surfaces and stone deserts. Also, climate-adapted plants reduce the use of pesticides. The Gardena Award presents ideas and solutions and, through its media presence, shows customers what is possible with our products. I'm glad that Gardena is actively supporting the cultural change in our industry. Thank you, dear partners. Let me talk now a bit about the event, how it happened. So we had a public application process being started a few months ago in which we had more than 30 applications from 12 different countries such as Denmark, Russia, Romania, Portugal, Greece, Austria, Switzerland and many others. We created a short list of four startups that we are presenting today and 
that one of them can be the winner of this year's Gardena Award. Now I would like to hand over to Gardena President Per Aström for some welcoming words. Thank you, Tobias. Uh, it's great to be back with, with this event. Um, and it's also great to see how much has happened in the startup community in the gardening space. Uh, like was stated here in the introduction, uh, this event is all about the future of gardening. Uh, what does gardening look like in the new tomorrow? And as such, it's also a lot about the trends that affect our industry. And uh, where is it better to look for trends than to look at, uh, in the startup community? And I think what we see is similar trends uh, to like in the past, but maybe with a, a shift of accentuation. So we still see the digital tra trend, digitizing gardening. We, we, we still see the sustainability trend, but I think the sustainability trend has gotten uh, more depth uh, and is better interweaned now in, in, in intertwined in all the different applications. We see a trend from product to service. And I think what is really interesting this year is that we see a big community trend. How to engage with others, how to share the passion for gardening with others. And I'm sure you will see these trends reflected in the finalist contributions, which we will review today. Very exciting times. Thank you a lot, Per. So now we are handing over to Cologne, to Stefan Lorberg from Spoga Gafa, that has also some special welcoming words for our this year's award. Many thanks to Ulm. We are delighted to be a partner of the Gardena Garden Award for the third time in a row. This is because the Gardena Garden Award, an award with international appeal and great relevance for the green industry, aims to advance the green industry just as we do at Spoga and Goff. Promoting startups and young companies is an essential part of this, because ideas create markets and are a vital basis for the sustainable development of a future-orientated garden sector. In keeping with this, the theme of this year's Gardena Garden Award has been chosen appropriately. What role does the garden play in the new tomorrow? I'm already very excited to see the innovative solutions by the finalists. We at Spokagafa think that the megatrend of sustainability in particular will shape the future of the garden. This is why after two trade fairs had needed to be postponed due to Corona, we have decided to continue to pursue the central theme of Sustainable Gardens Nachhaltige Gärten in 22. Together with our exhibitors and partners, naturally including Gardena, we want to show next year where the green industry currently stands on the subject of sustainability and how it can become even more sustainable in the future. The focus will be on products that conserve resources and sustainable solutions in our four trade fair segments. But of course, we also have an eye on solutions for sustainable logistics in the green industry. With this goal in mind, we are very happy about numerous entries for the Gardena Garden Award. To ensure that the three finalists can also showcase their innovations to the international green industry, we will be providing each finalist with a fully equipped stand at the upcoming Spoga and Goffa. We also support the additional sustainability award with a stand and additional prize money of 1,000 euro. Let's set sustainable impulses for the garden of the future together with the Gardena Garden Award and its Burger Garfa 22, finally taking place in Cologne again from 19th to 21st of June. And I am happy to say that I can already reveal another highlight. Because the winners of Gardena Garden Award 2020 will also be there. In June 22, the concentrated power of strong ideas for the garden and the new tomorrow will be on display in a special Gardena Garden Award village at Burger Garfa the world's largest garden trade fair here in Cologne. We'll be happy to meet you again and wish all the finalists the best of luck. Thank you for your attention and now back to all. Thank you, Stefan Lorbeck, and thank you a lot to Cologne. We're really delighted to have you as a partner for three years in a row and we are really hoping that next year we can participate in your event and bring all these great startups together and found a great way of networking and celebrating their success. You already talked about it, that also last year's winner from 2020, Malcolm Hammer from Compost Urban will be there. For all of us, it was a big surprise that he won, but in the end, he deserved it. He calls himself one man, one product company. 
He's from Paris, France, and he has that great vision that he believes in every household there should be compost. He says we are throwing away way too much food that goes straight into the bins and he believes that he found a great product and a great vision that he can bring compost into all these households around the world. And he won last year the Gardena Award and now one year later we asked him how have you been in this one year? How has the Gardena what changed it and what has happened in this year since that? So I'm very happy to switch over to Paris. Malcolm, tell us how it has been for you this one year. Hi, this is Malcolm from Compost Chauvin. We're here in a garden in the 18th uh, quarter of Paris, uh, just near the Fab Lab, where I prototyped my first uh, model. Uh, we built composters for household for the people to compost uh, everywhere because we think it's the most efficient uh, way to deal with organic matters in cities. Uh, this year, 2021, has been pretty rough with a lot of meetings uh, cancelled and opportunities delayed and now the, the, the price of uh, raw materials uh, rising up. But it gave us time to rethink our product and we choose to, to go in a more furniture trend. We, we, we want to, to make product uh, real like piece of furniture. This one is without plastic but we made also a product with recycled material including plastic recycled here in Paris. My message for the, the contestants this year is to try to help uh, people make their cities greener, uh, be it with uh, low-tech uh, uh, options or very intensive in technology, um, help people to grow food, experiment with uh, all kinds of surface to, 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 to grow. Uh, we are here to make people make their own soil, but uh, there are also uh, some other missions like uh, CO2 storage, and uh, there's a lot of fields, and uh, I wish you the best to investigate in them. Thank you a lot, Malcolm. And let's see who will be your successor. There has been a lot of great applications and I'm very curious who will win the race today. The first start comes from Bonn. Did you know that there's almost 17 million hectares of agricultural land in Germany, which is mostly consisting out of one wheat, one herb, one vegetable. And there's a startup who says we want to bring more diversity towards these fields and we want to enable more people towards gardening. Two amazing female founders from Bonn have the answer on possible problems and how to bring more people towards gardening. So please tell us about what is your idea and why do you think you deserve to win the Gardena Award this year. Hello, we are Natalie and Wanda from Mein Ernte in Bonn. A couple of years ago, we thought about healthy nutrition and growing our own food. But it was difficult living in a big city without a garden and a space and the lack of knowledge. So we had the idea of cooperating with farmers who could provide land, the knowledge and enable people to harvest and grow their own food. Throughout Germany, we cooperate with farmers in cities and together we offer vegetable gardens for rent from May to November. This means that even people without a garden can fulfill their wish of having their own piece of land and harvest vegetables from their own garden. And so that really everyone, even those without a green thumb, can carry full baskets of veggies home. We offer our vegetable gardens as an all-inclusive package with gardening tools to share, water and a lot of knowledge which we share via different channels such as WhatsApp groups, newsletters, websites, social media channels and an app. Being in the garden means taking a breath and a break from our hectic everyday life and creating something of your own with dirt on your hands. We see that in our fast-paced times it gives us a sense of self-determination 
and security to take things into our hands again. By regaining old knowledge about our basic needs and playfully sh showing our children where food actually comes from and how to process or store it. We are proud to say that during the last years more than 30,000 people have rented a garden with Meine Ernte at one of our 25 locations throughout Germany. Especially during these times when people have to reduce their contacts and work in home offices, our vegetable gardens are a place of communication and meeting others. Our gardeners are happy to support each other and share their experiences. They share their knowledge not only in the vegetable gardens but also on our social media channels and our local WhatsApp groups. We are happy to see that especially during the pandemic the vegetable gardens are a place to recharge batteries, to foster social interaction and social and emotional well-being for many people. So what are our next steps? We plan to open 10 more rental garden locations throughout Germany in the next two years. Moreover, we are investing in smart farming technology to reduce the usage of fertilizers and the water consumption. And these are definitely areas where we see possibilities of cooperating with Gardena. Yes, but that's not all because we have a big, big vision. Every day we see the positive impact of our rental gardens to the people who are gardening with us. So now we want to enable everyone to grow his and her own food, no matter where. So in the garden, on the balcony, in the front or backyard, and no matter what, fruits, vegetables, mushrooms or herbs. And that's why we are developing the first marketplace offering easy to use products and services and information so everybody can grow his and her own food. A great video from two great founders with an amazing concept and I wish them all the best for today. But there's more to come, so the second startup of today is Nuka Space. They're actually four founders from Romania and they also have an idea about the new tomorrow. Did you know that the amount of people working from home has increased from 12% in 2019 to almost 25% in the time of Corona and this will also stay and even grow bigger. So Nuka Space has developed a way of making home office even greater and supporting to connect home office working with a gardening experience. Forbes magazine was writing about them. The Nuka Space concept is a direct response to the changing work from the home landscape. Please, dear Nuka Space, tell us why do you think you deserve to win today's Gardena Award? Year 2020 marked the start of the work from home global trend. Now, would you rather keep working from home or go back to the office? Before you choose, meet Nuka, your high-tech free space away from office and close to home. Hello, I'm Sergio. I'm Theo. I'm Sandro. I am Ciprian. We are Nuka Space and we are proud to be finalists in the Gardena Awards competition. The Gardena Awards is a great competition for entrepreneurs of the gardening industry. Nuka is the first network of smart proximity workspaces for people who work remotely. The innovative office is designed to boost your focus, spark your creativity and increase your productivity. Think of it as your minimalist backyard office, your cool studio in the park, your co-working space for a temporary project and your source of passive income. We are the world's first network of smart, fully equipped proximity office spaces for people who work remotely, providing a complete home office as a service solution. Nuka was created for remote workers on the go, but also for entrepreneurs willing to seize a new business opportunity. Companies can provide flexible co-working spaces for employees. Residential developers may offer it as an added benefit. And local authorities can rent it to citizens in a smart, mobile city. Hi, I'm Bogdan, and I'm so excited to finally uncover Nuka, your space. 
Being a freelancer myself, I realized over the years how important it is for my creativity and my productivity uh, to work in an environment that is inspiring, uh, that has the power to shift my mood to get the best out of the world. We thought of every single detail when we designed and built this amazing contemporary office space that can be placed anywhere in the world so the users can enjoy the views they choose while working. Nuka has been designed as a personal work sanctuary where you can uh, host or join virtual meetings, uh, workshops, podcasts, presentations. You can turn your Nuka into a private classroom to homeschool your kids, a reading place in the afternoon, a private cinema in your backyard. You can even take a nap. You name it, it's your space. Everything you need to create, work and connect comes in a smart package. Just plug Nuka in and get everything. We are committed to change the remote working trend by creating affordable, smart and safe proximity office spaces that have everything people need to create and perform professionally. Ready for a fast office? We deliver it as easy as one, two, three, wherever you want in less than 60 days. It's affordable because you only rent it. Plus, you can even sub-rent it and it fits your needs. Nuka One is designed for solopreneurs and solo creators. Or if you prefer co-working in pairs, then Nuka Two is for you. Nuka is managed entirely by the user and all the booking, payment and IoT features are fully controlled by the mobile app. For example, we have over 15 smart sensors, including CO2 measuring sensor and air quality. I've um, always considered moving or building another addition to the house, but both scenarios were really expensive and required a big commitment. I was extremely surprised by Nuka's offer from both a price perspective, which was far less than anything else in the market, and by the fact that it came equipped with everything that I wanted from an office. There were lots of aspects that went in consideration when choosing Nuka, but uh, perhaps the main one was the price. I could have it delivered and installed for $1,000. And the monthly payments were actually less than I was paying for my co-working space. Nuka Space has been featured in over 20 well-known publications like Forbes and Business Insider. We have received over 100 orders from all over the world and we have multiple strategic partnerships from US to Europe. For example, with Orange for Smart Solution and with Steelcase for the office furniture. Keep an eye on the category Garden, the place to be, meet and work at the Gardena Awards competition. We are Nuka Space. Thank you a lot, dear Nuka Space, and thank you to Romania. Now we keep flying around Europe and we are going next to Portugal. I really love how international our award this year became. We're going to a small startup who has a great mission. Did you know 75% of the waste in the ocean is plastic and we have every year up to 12 million tons that enter the oceans. So this small team from Portugal has a great mission how we and how every one of us can reduce plastic in the oceans. So let's listen to this great team and I'm very curious about what they have to say on this amazing journey. Hello, my name is Pedro and I'm here to present you Spawnform. Spawnform is a biotech company uh, located in Villarreal, in the Science and Technology Park. Uh, we were founded in 2017 and we do biomaterials uh, whose main applications are pots and trays for planting. The idea, as I said, started in 2013 while I was attending my Master in Mechanical Engineer uh, and I saw a company uh, in, Villa, in the United States uh, that was working with these kind of materials um, and I thought why not to bring this kind of technology, this kind of approach uh, to Europe um, and to Portugal, of course, um, doing differently, uh, innovating, and um, that's it. Um, join us uh, inside Spawnform uh, to see what we are doing at this moment. Spawnform is a team of three people, myself, the co-founder Guilherme March, she is a full professor at Trades Montes Altidor University, and Cidia Valladas, she's our biotech engineer and she's working on product development. Cidia. Oh, hello. hello. So, together, the three of us, um, we are Spawnform 
and we do the upcycling of the byproducts of, from the agro and forestry industries and we combine these materials with an organic adhesive uh, developed inside of course and this combination uh, and with this combination uh, we achieve um, a totally organic biodegradable and uncompostable uh, biomaterial this biomaterial has several possible applications of course and one of them are the pots and trays for planting uh, for gardening for instance it is a totally organic solution as i said uh, and with the use of this material with the use of this product um, the pot and the tray um, they ca we can plant the plant and the pot together into the soil we put them together into the soil um, so within and with this process we are avoiding the use of plastic increasing the success rate of the plantation process and in the meantime uh, we are saving some water we are saving water so all of this with all of this uh, and with all of this, the major goal is to avoid and to avoid the plastic, the soil um, plastic pollution. Spawn foam, on top of that, spawn foam, regarding this subject, spawn foam is one of the 20 companies supported by the Portuguese government regarding circular economy transition. And due to this fact, um, we were supported by uh, H2020 SME instrument and even EIT Climate Geek and together with these three programs uh, also and also with several other awards um, several other awards national and international and even internationally um, it was possible to came out from the lab and to implement uh, the facilities uh, where we are um, nowadays so why burn byproducts um, when uh, we can produce high quality materials such as biomaterials biocomposites, it is the circular economy in its splendor and spawn foam together with Gardena can lead this process. Thank you. Thank you. Muito obrigado to Portugal. After we are flying around Europe, we are going back actually to my hometown Munich and we have the fourth startup of today called Swappa. And Swappa is from Munich. It's run by two founders. And actually, they are saying there's almost 17 million volunteers involved in different clubs and communities in Germany. And with Corona bringing more and more people home, it will actually grow this number. More and more people want to engage, they want to meet new people, and they want to actually help each other. So Swapa has found a way how they can provide a network and a community in order to grow the volunteer communities across the world. So please, Bernhard and Christian, go ahead and tell us why you think you deserve to win this year's Gardena Award. Hello everyone, we are Bernhard and Christian from Swapper and we don't like cities that are getting more and more grey without any green and yes, without solidarity. These are scenes we only want to see in dystopian movies but not in the future. To put a stop to this development, we need to take action. That's why we founded Swapper. Our mission is to bring a sense of community back to our society, to our cities. We offer all passionate gardeners a platform to fill our lives with mutual help and green ideas. And that brings us right back to Gardena. Not at least with the Gardena Garden Award 2021, Gardena is asking itself an important question. What role does garden play in the new tomorrow? Our answer, the garden of the future will be shaped by solidarity. We will explain to you how it works. In our app, requests for help can be posted. In the next step, users can offer help. In this way, Swapper users can help each other with small and large tasks of a gardener's everyday life. Thanks to our matching technology, suitable helpers with interest and know-how for the task are informed directly without tedious searching like on a bulletin board. Imagine a user channel only created for gardeners or even a specially created Gardena channel. In this channel, everything revolves around gardening. Create a help request if you need tips on ecological pest control, for example or you wonder how to get box trees well and round. Which plant species 
are suitable for preserving biodiversity in our country. Organizing community gardens can also be done with our Swapper app. You can say thank you for the received help by planting trees. Together with our tree planting partner, Trees for the Future, we plant trees where they will truly improve quality of life in a sustainable way. With Swapper, Gardena and a strong garden community, we contribute to environmental and climate protection. This is how we realize our vision of a sustainable and solidary future. Sharing is caring has also arrived in Gardening 2030. This works best with the help of a dedicated community and the forward thinking of companies like Gardena. With this in mind, we thank you for this competition and this opportunity. For the garden of tomorrow, we need a strong community and that's what Swapper is for. So thank you a lot for these and uh, now we are having an interview with Frank Thelen that we pre-recorded to this event. Okay, thank you dear startups. While the jury debates this year's winner, we will use the time for a highlight of this year's Gardena Award. We will use the time to have a conversation with Germany's leading investor Frank Thelen. Hello Frank. Hi. I think I don't need to say a lot about him, but a quick background. He's European's biggest or one of the biggest serial founders, technology investor and TV personality. He's known from the German shark tank, Die Höhle der Löwen. And he brought up a famous quote, in the near future, technology will make many areas of our lives more efficient. In the garden too, new robot and IoT solutions can make our everyday life easier. So Frank, did you really think when you were 20 years old that gardening was cool? <laughs> Um, no, uh, uh, we, we had gardening. My, my father actually uh, were, is, is still a very, very passionate uh, gardener. <clears throat> so I learned small things from him. But uh, I was uh, focused on my skateboard and then, then later on, on writing code. Uh, so uh, the gardening thing just came uh, later. So right now I'm, I'm actually using it to, to relax. So I like it a lot. And yeah, my, my father uh, still still does it every single day. When we see this change now, now a lot of young people, they tend to come towards gardening, sustainability, healthy food. What are the main drivers for that? I believe just common sense, because we, we, we need to, to change our habits. Uh, we need to, to, for example, I believe it's a, it's a tough discussion, but eat at least less fish or meat. And it's, it's, it's the best way to have our own vegetables. It's just like super healthy. Uh, we're so stressed, especially in those those current times where we uh, sit eight hours in front or ten hours in front of a display and 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 and, and video calls, and um, so it's very very healthy, relaxing, uh, and and it's just the right right way to do to have local food uh, that's healthy. Honestly, it just makes a lot of sense. Have you noticed that especially during Corona, this has like uh, found a big boost? this whole topic around gardening because people were forced to stay home and a lot of people were starting to buy houses in the countryside and really thinking of gardening with Corona. And do you think this will go backwards or will it stay? Um, first of all, as far as we see it, yeah, it has, has grown uh, very, very rapidly uh, for good reasons. Uh, but also uh, people now are trying to get out of the city and um, in having bigger gardens because they, they, they want to relax also when they sit all the time in front of front of the screen. So I believe um, this is a trend that will not stop because I believe people recognize more and more how important it is to, to, to spend time with nature. And, and there are many, many studies that show that this is uh, also very healthy. And um, I believe it was a, was a turning point. And, and I believe uh, we will also not go back to a time where everybody is all the time in the office, but we will go to a hybrid approach. And I believe those uh, those people that have a garden outside the city, because it's, of course, much, much cheaper and there's space available, and that's something that will just keep on growing, and I believe it's a very good thing. I mean, you're known as a very futuristic person and thinker, so if you look ahead into the future, 
like what is missing now in the garden that you could see in 20 or 30 or 40 years? Do you see drones watering the garden? Do you see grass not even growing any longer because the grass is so modified that it always has the perfect shape? What do you think could work and what would you like to have in the garden from a technology point of view? Yeah, that's a very tricky question because uh, I, I love technology, but I, I also believe it's important to, to, to sometimes step back and, 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 and be in the real nature and not everything should be uh, super optimized. And so, so if I see myself, my, my gardening in the future, there will be technology involved so that that at least nothing dies because I'm not the, not the best gardener. Maybe uh, for two or three days, I don't have the time to take care. So that, that, that's something that technology uh, should take care of. But then it should not be too artificial because I believe that's the magic and, and the, the, the nature as it is, is maybe the most beautiful thing we have. Uh, so there should not be too many drones for me. But there will be also other gardens, like high performance gardens, people that really say, I want to have the, the biggest amount of tomatoes and every tom tomato canes, uh, counts for me. And there, there will be also com competition, what you, what you can achieve. If I look at my personal gardening experience, uh, it will be more slower down because I have so much technology every day in my, my, my job that I want to experience uh, nature and I want to experience like, like th uh, slow growth. There will all, all, only be a protection side with technology so that, that I do the wrong things, uh, that, that not too many things will die. Growing is really connected towards water. How do you see like uh, the trends in the watering like uh, entrepreneurship world happening and uh, being connected towards the gardening? Do you see these kind of correlations? I mean, water is, uh, is, is one, it, 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 yeah, besides uh, air, uh, the, the most important resource um, that we have. And uh, for example, it's also, also a challenge if we use too much water in, 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 in many areas, also in the, in the, in the food industry, if we, if we eat, for example, too much meat, there is a lot of water wasted. And I believe having a smart way to, to use the water efficient and then take the most out of the garden and not just uh, waste water is uh, critical, important, and I believe just feels also right and is right. And that, that's great that technology can help here that we reduce the, the amount of water. And do you think there's a general trend towards the service industry? I mean, I remember there's a lot of startups that um, started inside the house, like uh, cleaning my, my place. So I'm hiring a cleaner for that. I'm getting the food delivered. So do you think like young people appreciate more in the end having maybe a service oriented garden to say, OK, I want an amazing looking garden, but I don't want to do my hands dirty again. And I want to do have, have someone doing this for me. Absolutely, because as you just mentioned, um, I believe gardening will, will keep on on high growth path uh, as all the, the things we just mentioned make so much sense. And then there will be people that say, I want to do it all all completely on my own. It's the same like renovating uh, a flat or, or a house. So some people really want to do most of the things by themselves. And then there are other people, maybe like me, who are working like like 12 hours a day, which I totally like. And then in the only in the weekend, I want to enjoy it. So I pay for a service that when I come to my garden, it's everything is just right and, and I can take off the great fruits and just just enjoy it. I believe there will be both ways. So people that really want to do everything by their own and there will be people that just say, uh, I don't have the time, I don't have the skill. I buy a service and I just make sure that when I go to my garden, I, I, I can enjoy it and not not work. But the work can also be quite enjoyable. So there will be both ways. And do you see like uh, how the technology of inside the house is growing together with the technology outside the house? Will we have in the future one day that is, for example, being a vacuum cleaner, but also a lawnmower or from a whole technology point of view? Or do you also see these areas as a separate? I believe in the end, or not in the end, but in the next uh, years, um, things, the data will come together because uh, there's one life. And, and I have a, have a bicycle. Uh, I have a, a garden, I have a house, maybe have a have rented a flat somewhere or an office. I have devices and I will I believe there will be a data hub around my life, for example, that the IOT devices know where I am and now I'm, 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 I'm driving to my garden. So something should happen or I'm, I'm driving to my house. So so it should be um, heated. Um, we are heavily invested in robotics and I can tell you it's tough to build a, a robot that can do both, like vacuum cleaning in the house and also doing 
uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the mowing. Uh, so I don't see it in the near future. I believe we will have specialized uh, robots uh, that, that work well. Um, yeah, I believe it will take time. It's, it's tough that you re really build a reliable product that, that does so many things. Let's talk a bit about you in general uh, as an investor. What is important for you when you invest in a startup? It's a typical question, but I think this has changed for you. I guess when you started to invest, you looked at different things that you're looking at yeah. today. Yeah, um, so today we, we have the luxury to focus on it, it, it really sounds strange, but solving the big problems of the world. So we we, we were lucky that, and, and sold um, companies very successfully. So today we're focusing on uh, how do we solve energy? How do we solve food that we got sustainable, healthy food in a scalable uh, way? How do we do transportation? So how can we go without emissions from A to B with us as a person, but also all the past, the the um, the e-commerce uh, things that we want to want to uh, move around. And um, that's what we focus on. Like, how, what, what is the, the current problem of plastic? Um, then we look at teams and see, do they have a scalable solution? And can we make it competitive to the bad product that's out there? Like plastic versus uh, the same product without plastic. But you have to have at, um, at a certain scale, you have to come to a certain price point so that the market really adapts it. That's the same for energy. That's the same for transportation. So we're looking at smart founders that have the right solution, but we also believe we can scale this and it will be a, a, a product that will be a, a accepted by the market so we can have an impact and really make a change. How important is the personality of a founder? I mean, does he really need to carry this winner's DNA? I mean, if you're just an engineer with a great idea, is this enough to succeed or do you need something that you have observed that is a little bit extra in a founder? Well, that's a tough, tough question. Um, uh, for example, there's a there's Shopify with with uh, Tobias as a as a founder, and he's more a geek, if you want to say. It's a really developer, uh, and 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 as far as I know, the story they they oftentimes wanted to exchange him with a more uh, CEOs coming more from business side, international experience, and so on. But as we know today, it's one of the one of the really most successful uh, software service companies in the world. It was a very good idea to keep that founder that's maybe a little bit uh, geeky. Um, I would say the same for ex maybe even Elon Musk. He's not the the the, the, uh, the most eloquent, always uh, uh, very well positioned to investors and, and and markets and so on. But he's more more like a geek. So I believe we there will be both winning teams. Some will have the the right uh, CEO that 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 really can can talk in a very smart way. Really is always uh, very very smooth. But there will also be um, geek heads that have a different view that sometimes people say, wow, what, what did he just say? And they will also be successful. Um, in the end, that's the great thing about entrepreneurship. Uh, there, there are many, many different ways uh, how we can build uh, great companies. And that, that's what I, what I like about the, the, the ecosystem. So the big startup rounds are now happening in Europe. I mean, if I just look yeah. at the Gorilla case, this will be like five years ago, it would be impossible to think that a company would be scaling so fast and becoming a unicorn. How do you see this and what is the origin of that uh, we are finally raising so much money in the, let's say, even German startup scene? First of all, of course, uh, I'm, I'm very, very, very happy that finally the, the ecosystem is waking up. It's so great. Um, I believe we, we generated more unicorns than China. Um, and yeah, and it was a long, long way. I mean, if you look back at, at only 10 years, um, the ecosystem has grown. So we have more um, founders that have success and then they reinvested that money. We have more and more funds, uh, venture capital funds in all the different stages. We have funds that, that are willing to go big. Uh, we have funds that, that are bigger than, than the years before. Um, and now, yeah, we have this, these great success stories. And um, I, I hope that this is kind of the waking, waking up uh, because we have been so far behind of, of the US and China. But yeah, the current data for, for, for Germany and Europe looks quite promising. I mean, we still have a lot of work to do and, and we should not stop, but even push harder. But I'm totally with you. So there are great signs. And I hope that the next years will be great for our ecosystem. I mean, we are talking a lot about success, but we all know startups, uh, they don't come without failure. What failure are you regretting in your life? Is there any business decision that you say, hey, here, I really messed up, I lost a lot of money, or I wouldn't do it again? I made 
so many, so so many mistakes, and and um, yeah, and I also bleed it, if you want to say. I mean, I went went uh, was very close to private insolvency. Uh, that was definitely one of the stupid mistakes to to write for for debt that I could not pay back, and then in the end I was really squashed, and it was a was a big big problem. Um, but I, but I make mistakes also every day because. Um, I make decisions. I, I go fast. I go bold, and um, then then mistakes have have to be allowed, and you have to be gentle to yourself and say, "Did you really make at that point the best decision with all the information that you had?" And then if you if it's if if you look now one year later and it was a bad decision, that that that's happened. I believe it's important that we all say it's 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 okay to do to do to also fail, um, and I still do a lot of a lot of mistakes every single day. All right, so we have a lot of founders also watching us today and a lot of founders from the gardening industry. So I would like you that you complete one sentence. A gardening startup I would like to invest in has? A, a passionate founder team. Okay, thank you a lot for this conversation and also being part of our jury. So we wish you all the best and uh, good luck. Thank you, see you soon, bye-bye. All right, this was the interview with uh, Frank Thelen. Um, now we are coming back to the jury and we see who is today's winner of the Gardena Award 2021. The jury members contained of Per Aström, Tobias Könner, Stefan Lorberg, Anna Hackstein, Andrea Fischer, Dr. Peter Wüst, Rainer Stirnert and Frank Thelen. Let's see who is going to be the winner this year. So it seems like it were really four amazing pitches and I guess it was a very hard decision for the jury pair, right? Yes, it was. And, and first of all, thank you uh, to all the jury members. Um, it was really an interesting discussion we had uh, um, uh, just now. And, and um, I think it's great uh, that we can share the perspectives and experiences uh, from different angles on, on these participants. It was, uh, I have to say, quite a tough decision this year. It was a tight race. Uh, and uh, we also had uh, jury members with different favorites, which, which I th actually think shows the strength of the, the lineup this year, Toby. All right, we have a quick video. So do we have a result? I guess we have a result. Sorry for the sound problem. Okay, um, so we have a result pair. Um, tell us first, we go backwards. So we have like uh, four prizes, as we said. One is the sustainability prize together with Spoga Gafa. We have 1,000 euros for who do we have it for and why pair? Yeah, so, so first of all, we are going to award the special sustainability prize. And uh, this award is given by our partner Spoga Gafa. Um, this award this year, it goes to a startup that is redefining uh, what good looks like when it comes to a very common product or product segment uh, in the gardens and in our industry. And they have seen an opportunity to uh, reduce plastic waste uh, in the gardens uh, and also, of course, in our industry. And this is, of course, a very important task for us all. And I think we should be very inspired what, what, by what they do. Uh, so the winner of the sustainability uh, award, the special sustainability award, is Spawnform. And uh, they get, of course, this, this check, 1,000 euros. Um, and I really look forward to meeting them at the next Spoga Gafa event. And of course, this check will be shipped to you. And as Per said, we are looking forward to meeting you soon. Um, okay, let's come now to number three. Who was our third winner? We call them third winner because they are the final selection. So please, Per, please, Per, tell us who was number three. Yeah, so the third place in the Gerena Garden Award, it goes according to the jury uh, motivation, a company that has developed a solution to a very current issue in COVID home office times. It creates new space for people in nature with the idea that nature inspires 
uh, us and makes us more productive. Also, uh, from a business point of view, uh, they have a nice combination of product and service. And uh, you actually don't need to buy their product, you can uh, rent it. And therefore, the third prize, uh, the Gardena Garden Award third prize, goes to Nuka Space. And they get um, this check, 2,000 euros. Uh, and uh, we also look forward to seeing them at Spoga Gafa. And then, of course, we have the, the beautiful third place Gardena Trophy. So, there are two left. Now the magical question is like, who is the second winner of this year's Gardena Award? So who is number two pair? Yes. Please. So the, the jury uh, motivation for the second place, the runner-up uh, in the Gardena Garden Award, is a company that is about the passion to share, to help each other within a community. They have the vision of bringing communities together based on the sharing of knowledge and the more that participate, the better for the environment. And therefore the second place goes to Zwopper. And uh, Zwopper of course gets them the, the second place trophy, slightly bigger than the third place one. And uh, this check of uh, 3000 euros. Big congratulations. So there's one company left and they're going to be the winner. So we're very proud to announce them, Pea. Yes, and by now everyone has understood that the winner of this year's Gardena Garden Award is Mina Anta. And the jury motivation is that uh, they have brought a 360 degree approach connecting gardeners to land, to tools and to knowledge. Uh, they have uh, the combination uh, of uh, the real world with uh, uh, the virtual world, the digital world. And they're building a solution uh, that uh, addresses trends like urbanization, self-sufficiency, and of course connecting to nature, the sustainability topic again. So a very worthy winner of the Gardena Garden Award. And, uh, they get uh, this check of uh, 5,000 euros, the biggest number one prize, Gardena Trophy. And of course, they also get a robotic lawnmower, uh, the Gardena Silena City. So, a lot of prizes to win. I guess a great event pair. A great event. Should we uh, see what the winners say? Yes. Good. Congratulations. Oh, you are the thank winners you. of the Gardena Garden Award. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> great, great news. Thank you very much. We oh. are super, super happy. Yes. Oh, wow. A very impressive, very impressive company you have started. Thank and, you. And I think also a very impressive uh, pitch. Uh, video you've made to present it. Super, so thank uh, you. unfortunately, we we have to do it digitally. Uh, mm. uh, but um, I would really like to to come and see one of your 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 garden areas one day. And, and yeah, it would be a pleasure. It looks amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, we're really really happy now. So so what what are your plans? How are you going to celebrate? Mm. Oh, maybe we have a nice lunch today. <laughs> yes, and definitely, uh, yeah, we are, we'll be super happy to tell the team about it because we have a super team supporting us. And um, yes, I'm sure they will be also very, very thrilled and happy and celebrate with us. Yes. Yeah. No, great work. And uh, we will announce it then sometime between 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. Become official. So mm -hmm. um, let's, uh, let's then uh, tell the world afterwards. Yeah. Woo! Great. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank okay. You. Enjoy your the rest of your day and uh, hope to see you in the in in the real world one day. We do. We yes. do. It would be a pleasure. Yes. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah, bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.
So that uh, concludes this year's Gardena Garden Award, where we've had a, a glimpse of uh, the future in the gardening industry. And uh, I think it's really interesting to see how uh, a year of COVID and lockdowns have made people more passionate about gardening and also how it has uh, further accelerated the shift towards sustainability, community building and digital services in the startup community. Of course, we would really love to have been meeting you all uh, and especially the startups and the partners live uh, this time. Uh, we hope to do so next time. And um, until then, uh, we are very proud to be able to announce these worthy winners. We wish them all the best success uh, in the years to come. And um, it's really inspiring to see how they lead the way uh, for the whole industry in, in the trends discussed. A big thank you also to all other applicants um, and also to all our partners and all of you watching this. Thank you and uh, happy gardening in the autumn season.